Hello guys and welcome back again in another really cool video and another cool request. So we have this cool fan, his name is Thomas uh, Predilli. He requested a 6 liter V8 NA carburetor engine and he said he want to make the most amount of power out of it. Alright, let's start. V V8 with 90 degrees. Let's make it a little light, aluminium. So I'm gonna make the highest power. And I'm gonna make the bore and stroke similarly together so I can have the most amount of power. I don't care about RPM. I'm gonna make it really really similar. Right. So, 98 and a half, 98 and a half. And since it's, this engine is gonna be. I don't wanna make it a co an old school, or should I make it an old school? Okay, let's make it a modern overhead valve. Aluminium. Let's have it bullet steel, titanium, and forged. Plus 15 because I'm gonna make the most powerful NA carbureted. Tem Let's see, 10.021, 60 degrees, or 60 sporty camshaft. Variable uh, valve timing. Yes, I can use it because this is a modern, most powerful NA carbureted engine. Carburetor, twin performance, 98, 13 and a half. Five and say seven thousand maybe. Let's go for racing. Dual and six hundred. Right. So this engine is capable for eight thousand, but no, I'm not gonna go eight thousand. Let's go to the camshaft. Let's see how high I can go. Right. Mission timing. Right. Fuel. Right. No need. Right. Compression ratio. 11.71 Right What else should we do? Right mm -hmm. So 589 589 still Racing. Let's go 100 and pump it up a little. Doesn't really matter here. No, I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill the pistons if I boosted the RPM a little bit higher. That five ninety nine crap, how am I gonna hit the six hundred? Okay, so I'm, go I'm gonna hit the 600 to actually do like... Right, like the 600 horsepower. 
so 600 horsepower 100 horsepower per liter which is a good figure for a racing engine all right let's hear it and enjoy it Try something which is let's see 98. Right, okay. Let's go and decrease the stroke and decrease the bore and decrease it till we hit 6,000. Yes, as we can as you can see here, we are making less power and using more octane. So no. Let's get back to 90. Right. 98.8. Right. Like that. So we have 600 horsepower for a 6 liter engine. So 100 horsepower per liter. Is a good good figure. Let's make it a little lighter. Yes, that's way lighter. And then the engineering time is is now less. Right. So this is it, guys. This is the requested video, which is a six liter max horsepower carb. Old school, yes, fully on. What I mean with fully on is um, using titanium forged, uh, built steel, you know, the max everything. So, this is it, guys. Let's hear it again. I hope you really enjoyed making this cool engine 100 horsepower per liter. I had an idea. Why am I using a modern overhead valve? Let's switch to dual overhead cam and see the difference. Right? Are you ready guys? You remember all of these, the horsepower torque? Right. Now, the same valves. Let's start with the same valves. Two valves per cylinder. As you can see, we gained six horsepower. We have lost a little bit of reliability. Now, the the octane is a bit uh, is a bit better. The emissions are way better. The fuel efficiency is way better, and but the surface is higher here, and the engine is will run very smooth against the over overhead valve. The engine is yes is uh, heavier now and requires less man hours to engineer it, and it's it's heavier yes, and the materials will cost less. So let's switch to four valves. Oh my god. Eight, 80 horsepower. 80 horsepower and the emissions are way way less. The engine requires more cooling. The engine is running a, lost a little reliability. Engine is a bit heavier and requires more man hours. Five valves. 
which as you can see here 96 horsepower difference and as you can see here well, let's see what we can do about that nearly 700 horsepower <coughs> Right, now we have 700 horsepower if you switched from overhead valve or single camshaft in the inside engine with both push rods to a dual overhead camshaft. As you can see, the engine guns look way better and look at the power, 700 horsepower. Wow. And 508 pound feet of torque. Let's hear it and enjoy it. Yes, now the BVT is for all cams, not only intake, it's for the all cams. And we have 11.5 to 1 compression ratio, which is very high. And yes, the engine is now running perfectly. I mean, if I'm gonna put performance, I can, I can gain a higher reliability. Of course, because it's... Hmm. Racing is better. Racing will sound way, way better. So that's that's the engine, guys. Uh, I mean, now it's not an old school; it's a new school. New school carbureted engine with with 703 horsepower and 508 pound-feet of torque. The engine has not good reliability. I mean, yes, 50.9. Is a good for a racing engine. The engine is now running a bit smoother than the mechanical overhead valve. Uh, the responsive is not really good because it's a carbureted engine and yes, it's loud. The RPM is high and the yes, it's heavy 180 and a half kilograms. And again, 703 horsepower and 508 pound feet of torque. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And if you are not a, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe and request more cool videos like this one. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will see you in another video. Bye bye.